What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Xbox app is not working or opening on your Windows 11 and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about, we just need to go over here, search for the settings and click on the settings. Now from here, what we need to do is just click over here and navigate to the Windows update. That is the first and foremost step, just click on the Windows update. Make sure the Windows is up to date. If you're not up to date, you'll be having a lot of trouble. So if you're having pending, pending up to date updates and all this thing, just update your windows. Now, once you're done with this one, you can just go to the apps. Now from here, go to install and apps. Now from here, what we need to do is just go over here, search for Xbox app. Now we need to click on this three dot menu, go to the advanced option, scroll down and navigate to repair or reset. That's an important one, just repair and reset. Once you're done with this one, we have to check. Stay if you're having the trouble, just go over here, search for the services and you have to click on the services. And right now from here, what we need to do is we just need to wait for this to get complete load up. Now scroll down and navigate to at the bottom. Now over here you can see Xbox Live, Network Service, Games Save, Old Manager and Accessory Management. So right click on this one, go to the properties. Make sure this has been set into automatic and the service status should be running. Go for OK. Similarly, Go for the next one that is Xbox Live Oath Manager. Go to the properties. Now from here automatic. Make sure it is running. Go for OK. Next one, right click and go to the properties. Make sure this is not manual. You have to change it into automatic. Go for apply. Now go for start. And once you go for the start, just go for OK and you have to check. Last and the least one that is Xbox Live Network Service. Right click and go to the properties. Change this into automatic. Go for apply. And once you apply, just go for start. Make sure it is service status is running. Go for OK and you have to close this and you have to check. Still, if you're having the trouble, just go over here, navigate to the Microsoft Store. And once you get into the store, the first step for most step, you have to search here for the Xbox and you have to download it from the store and you have to use it. Afterwards, just go to the downloads. Now we can see these are the, you can just click on update or, or check for updates. So what happens is every app that you downloaded so far from the Xbox, as you can see, these are the list from where you can just, you'll be getting the appropriate update and all those things. So if you're having any update for the Xbox, just update your app, then you have to use it. Next one is all about afterwards, you have to go over here, search for the PowerShell. Now once, just go to the Windows PowerShell and run as administrator and go for yes. Now go for yes. Now we can see the PowerShell will be popping up. Now we need to run few commands. So this I'll be giving in the video description. Copy this and we have to paste it, press enter. Now we need to wait before the next one. That is this particular command. Don't worry, that will be in the video description. Copy and we have to paste it, press enter. Once it is done, we can see the gaming service will be popping from the Microsoft store. Just click on the get button so it will be downloaded. And afterwards, we'll not be having any kind of trouble with the Xbox or Xbox app will be working fine. If I click on this one, as you can see, it is all working like it says launching. So it is having an update. So you can just update your Xbox app. Once after the Xbox update is successfully done, you're fine with it and you'll not be having any kind of trouble. So this is what you have to do when it comes to how to fix this. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. That's it. Bye.